poll working is so important to the democracy of our country. Serving as a poll worker, especially here in Berkeley County, get a chance to meet with your friends and neighbors. You get to help them, you know, you do their civic duty, you know, extend their right to vote, all those things that are so important to what we do in this country. We can't have elections without poll workers. We need people to step up and serve. You know, we always tell them in training, you guys are the front line. We used a little over 350 people in June. Um, that was a 22% turnout. We're expecting over 70% turnout in, in November, so we're actively recruiting to get that number up closer to 550. So pay for a first-time worker is $190. Um, that includes training and election day. It's kind of, you gotta do both parts to get paid. To apply, you can call our office. You can email in at our office. Um, you can also go to noexcusesc.com and apply online. So we have 96 precincts across Berkeley County that vote at 59 polling locations. The president and vice president's on everybody's ballot, U.S. Senate, um, all of your state house and state senate seats in South Carolina are up, so you'll see your state senator or your state house district. Um, some county council districts are up, one, two, and three. So school board is on the ballot. It's the odd number district. We have some municipalities that are holding elections along with us. So city of Goose Creek, city of Hanahan, town of St. Stephen, if you live in those areas, you'll have that on your ballot as well. All that information is available on the Berkeley County government website uh, under the voter registration page. Also available on scvotes.gov, which is the state election commission's website. Voters, if you're, if you're gonna vote absentee, Let's get started on that process. The earlier, the better. You know, we're, we're opening a couple satellite locations the last two weeks before the election. One at the Hanahan Library, one at the St. Stephen Library. Just show up, all you need is your photo ID. But if you're gonna vote by mail, and you want us to mail you an absentee ballot, the earlier you can start that process, the better. There's an application process and then there's the actual mailing of the ballot. The biggest difference is all the, the protective equipment that we're providing, sneeze guards, gloves, masks, hand sanitizer, things to keep people safe. We know that we're gonna, it's gonna be a busy election day. Polls are open 12 hours, so you're there working for a good, steady, long amount of time. Um, but it is, again, it's rewarding at the end of the day to know you helped out your community. Mm -hmm.